In this video, I'm going to go over my favorite print settings in Canva, as well as my two favorite places to print things downloaded from Canva. I'm a wedding invitation designer, so printing is super important to me, and it's one area where Canva is not quite as user friendly. Um, so when you're going to print a design, you click on the share button and you can actually print directly with Canva. They do great work, but for wedding invitations, I find that some of their options are lacking and can be a little confusing if you're not familiar with printing. So if you do want to print these yourself or get them from a print shop, then you'll click on download. And then my favorite settings, I have a longer video on kind of why all of this is, uh, but the quick version is my favorite settings are PDF print. And then the crop marks and bleed will depend on your design a little bit. So this design does not have anything that goes off the edge of the page. So I don't need any crop marks and bleed there. This design, however, you do want that brown piece to go off to be printed all the way to the edge of the page. So we would want our crop marks and bleed included in that. Um, you can also design your piece a little bit larger if you don't wanna have to select that option. Um, I have a longer video on bleed if that doesn't mean anything to you. But basically, whenever there is anything in the design going off the edge of the page on any of the four sides, you do wanna include the bleed there. So that will just depend. Most of the time I'm gonna click it. And then flattening the PDF is very important because it basically takes all the text and elements on your design and stamps them right where they are. So if someone doesn't have one of the fonts that you're using and they open it in a design program before they print, um, they might replace it with a different font or it might give them an error or something unless you flatten the PDF. So that's gonna make it not editable anymore and you won't have anything moving around accidentally. So we always want to flatten. Um, including notes, we typically don't want to do this if we're printing like a wedding invitation. <laughs> so I typically don't do this. Last thing is that RGB and CMYK are different color spaces. And in Canva, we are always designing in RGB because we're designing on a computer um, for sharing on a screen usually. But if you have the pro license, you can also download in CMYK, which is the best printing color space because if you've ever used a printer, you know that oftentimes the ink is in CMYK, which is cyan, magenta, yellow, and K stands for black. So we always want to use CMYK if we can for printing. Otherwise, you can see some color shift. So these are my favorite settings for printing from Canva. The crop marks and bleed just dependent on your design a little bit, but almost always I'm going to click that option. And then download that. You can also save your download settings for the future if you're going to be printing a lot of these. Now, where should you get them printed? You can print these in a lot of different places. If you are printing at home, then definitely attach those crop marks and bleeds because the crop marks are going to give you a guide of where to cut these pieces. And that can be sometimes really difficult when you're not used to it. Um, so absolutely check this if you're going to be printing at home. Um, if you want to print at a print shop, then local print shops are always good. And then my two favorite places for ordering online, it kind of depends on if you're going to do this a lot as a business and you're willing to set up a wholesale account or if you're just doing this one time. So if you do want to do printing like wholesale for clients, then I highly recommend Printswell Fulfillment. They're my number one favorite printer. I use them all the time and I have a ton of videos here about them and all the things that they offer. They're super easy to use. And if you use my link to sign up, you will get $25 off your first order. Now, if you want to just print one time, Prince of Love is a wonderful, super easy to use, very well-priced option. Um, everything that you order from them, they're going to come with like free white envelopes. It's very easy. So if you go up here, you'll just click start printing and then kind of select what you want. So in this case, we would want Kind of a five by seven card so select cards for wedding flat cards portrait orientation and a five by seven and then you can just select everything that you need and you can get the free white envelopes or none and they also address the envelopes if you need them to and my favorite is the matte paper um, it's just really nice and feels luxurious and then you can upload your files directly from Canva. They do take PDF, JPEG, PNG, etc. Uh, but in general, you do want to download with those settings that I mentioned, the PDF print. It's going to get you the best quality from Canva. And as you can see on here for their artwork guidelines, you want all files to be in CMYK to avoid any color shifting. And then we do want that one eight inch bleed, which is what we mentioned. So that's why we're always going to select that crop marks and bleed if we are printing through 
Prince of Love. So I absolutely love them. If you want to use my link in the description, it helps me provide more free content like this um, and would be a huge help to me. So if you're interested in creating wedding invitations, definitely check out the rest of my channel. There's going to be a lot of things <laughs> that you enjoy, including like I told you how to create this one on Canva from a template directly in Canva, which is super easy. But I hope this helped you with just printing from Canva. Um, and I have a longer video where I actually show you how all of these different settings printed out and you can see the differences and all of the whys behind, we behind why we select some of those things. But if you just want the quick and dirty, then always go with print PDF, Crowdmarks and Bleed, flatten PDF, and CMYK color profile. Thanks everybody.